All right, let me kick it off here, Howard. Uh, who would you play in, uh, who would play you, I should say, in uh, Howard Marks the movie? Uh, I think Robin Williams. Really? I've been told that I look like Michael Douglas. I've been told that I look like Orson Bean, if you have, can remember that far back. But when I had a beard and Robin had a beard, I think we were dead ringers. That's wow. a great guy. I love Dead Poet Society. I was going to go George Clooney, but all right, Robin Williams, there you go. What is your top vacation spot, your favorite place to be, your nirvana? I like to relax in a place called Mallorca, an island off of Spain. Yeah, I love Mala. <laughs> a lot of Germans there. A lot of Germans. I, when when the was the last, last time you've been? Uh, June. Gosh. Yes, it's one. Matt and I are free June this year if you okay. want to bring us. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come with you. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, regrets? Your biggest invest, well, I don't know if it's a regret because you may learn something from it, but your biggest investment mistake? My biggest mistake was not being John Paulson. You know, John Paulson had the m biggest, most profitable trade in history. George Soros got famous for making a billion off the weakness of the pound, and uh, Paulson made 15 billion. But Paulson existed, I mean, his fund existed, what, 10 years before that trade? We didn't know who he was. It was a billion dollar fund. You've been chugging along since 1995, kicking butt. You want to have just one extraordinary hit? Well, I'd like to fold that into the rest of my career. <laughs> if it's if a 15 take billion all dollar the great hit. stuff and then have a huge grand slam in the middle. Right. Uh, all right. Who's your favorite Howard? Of all the famous Howards out there. Who and there are many. Howard? We went through many. them this morning. Yes. There are my, a lot. My favorite Howard is Howard Marks. Oh. And if you Google Howard Marks, you'll get, you'll get Europe's biggest drug smuggler. Oh, yes, what? that's true. That's I, true. I found that last that's night. Right. Yes. And, and, and uh, He's uh, my age, almost exactly, within a few months. The main difference between us is that he's English, he's Welsh. The main difference is that he's better educated because he has a PhD from Cambridge and uh, he, uh, he did seven years inside, hard time. And uh, I had him to my apartment. You, in, no. you, you Hold on. You looked him up and invited him right, over? Right. You called him and said, Howard Marks, it's Howard Marks? No, I had a, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Matt Newberg, is a techie, and I figured, connect us. And he, and he put us together, and, uh, and I met him, and it was really interesting. Nice guy? Nice guy. Great Did you take guy. a picture together? Uh, no. Did he bring any drugs? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, right, just God. check it. I but mean, he, he's he did, a drug guy. But he, he wrote a book called Mr. Nice. And he, he, yes. autog he autographed it for me. Yes, I saw that on book? Google as well. Uh, I did give him my book. There you go. All right, last question. We know you don't have the same vice he does. What's your vice? Um, A guilty pleasure, so to speak. Uh, moving from one house to another and, and, and decorating them and furnishing them. You love doing that? I love doing that. I, really? It creates, uh, I love living in a beautiful environment. I, create, I love beauty. And that's my creative outlet. And you do the design yourself? No, I, I, I work with a fellow named Michael Smith. Uh, we've worked together for over 20 years. Michael uh, is, uh, you may criticize, but Michael's the White House decorator uh, at the moment. And uh, he's my great friend, and we've worked together for over 20 years. All right, if Michael were to say to you, Howard, would you like to come to the White House? I design the White House, I design your house. Come break bread with the president. What would you say to Obama? Um, I'm, I would say that he's, a, what everybody said in the first campaign, he's a great communicator. Some people said, of course, that that was all he was, and, and, and we, we hope he's not. But I think he can communicate better. I, th I don't think he makes his case strongly enough. He's not doing it well anymore. Well, I, I think since he took office, I don't think he, I, I would have liked to have seen him on TV saying, my fellow Americans, that line's been used. but. Here's what's going on in the country with the financial crisis. Here's why we need a bailout. Here's why the banks are important. Uh, these kinds of things. I'd like him to be on, the, on TV saying, uh, when, when Congress refuses to raise the debt ceiling, it's not about spending money. It's about paying bills. They've authorized expenditures, and if they refuse to raise the debt ceiling, what they're saying is, we, we'll spend the money, we just won't pay the bills. Well, the That's not right. I'd like him out there on that. The latter, he may have said, the former uh, doesn't win votes. The truth does not always win you votes. Well, they have to, the question is whether you care about something other than just votes.